in this tutorial we will create these two exercises let's start with the first one click on create sketch select the plane pan the screen now here at first we will create this octagon of age length 20 click here and select polygon H polygon give the first point give the second point take your cursor above and give number of edges as 8 and click then give the dimension click on sketch sketch dimension click on the edge give the position and give the length of 20 enter then escape the next is this pentagon again of edge length 25 click on sketch polygon edge polygon Give the first point for the edge, bring the zero degree angle and give the second point. Take your cursor above, give the number of edges as 5, enter. Again give the dimension, click on sketch, sketch dimension. You can give dimension by pressing D also. Click on sketch dimension, select the edge, click below and give the length of 25, enter, escape. Then create one center line. Give the line command, click on construction here, select the midpoint, then zoom and select the midpoint of this horizontal line. Then zoom fit, pan it. Then we want this gap to be of 6, press D for dimension, select this line, this line. Now there is this angle of 0.1 degree, that means this line is not horizontal. To make this line horizontal, click on the line and click here, horizontal vertical, it will become horizontal. Then give the gap, press D for dimension, select this line, select this line, give the location, give the gap of 6, escape. Then this gap from this line to this point will be half of this 25, that is 12.5. Click on this vertical line, click on this end point. Take cursor inside, give the gap of 12.5, enter, escape, then drag this 25 above. Now this center line is not vertical, to make it vertical click on the center line and click on vertical, now it become vertical. Create one horizontal reference line, click on the line, select the midpoint, then give the second midpoint, escape. The next is this hexagon of 26 distance. This 26 distance is from the center to the mid of the line. That is circumscribed method. Click on sketch, polygon, select this circumscribed polygon. Give the center point. Then make this construction off. Then click there. Then give the distance. Press D. For dimension, select this horizontal line, select this horizontal line and give the gap of 26. Enter and escape. Then next is this upper portion of 14 by 20 distance. Take the line command, give the first point, second point, this third point and fourth point and escape. Then give the dimension, press D, take this line, height is 14, enter. And this line is already of 20 length. Escape. This drawing is ready. Then click on new. Click on create sketch. Select the horizontal plane. And next is this one. In this at first we will create the reference axis. Click on the line. Click on the construction. Click. Zoom minus. Create this vertical axis. Click on this right symbol, then one horizontal axis, right, then this one vertical here, click on this right button, then one horizontal axis here, again click on this create and continue button, then escape, then place the dimension, press D for dimension, give the gap between this line to this line, The gap is 90, 
here it is 45 with a 90 enter and from this line to this line is 45 enter escape to match this with this center point click on this axis control click on this center point and click on this coincident the next will be to create this circle of 28 and 38 and 40 diameters for circle C is the shortcut press C give the center point make construction of give the diameter of 28 enter enter again C 38 enter enter again C Give the center point, give the diameter of 80. Enter, enter. These three circles are ready. And next is these two circles. One is of dia 20, internal and external will be dia 40. Again press C for circle, give the center point, give the diameter of 20, enter, enter. C, the center point. Give the diameter of 40, enter, enter. Same way here, press C. Give the center point, give the diameter of 20, enter, enter. Again C. Give the diameter of 40, enter, enter. Then trim this unwanted portion. For trim, T is the shortcut, press T. And remove this unwanted portion. Then escape. Then next is this arc is there of radius 9. We can create it using fillet. Click here and select the fillet command. Select this first arc, select this second arc. Give the radius of 9, enter, escape. Then next is to create this circle of 26 radius. Again give C for circle, give the center point, then give the diameter 26 multiplied by 2. Enter, enter. Then select this circle, control select this circle, then apply the tangent object snap. Scroll it down and click on this tangent. Again select this circle, control this circle. Again scroll down and click on this tangent. Now this center line got shifted. Select this center line, control this center point and click on coincidence. Then next is to create this circle of 98 radius touching these two circles. Again press C, create one circle, give the diameter of 98 multiplied by 2. Enter, enter. Then select this circle, control this circle and make it tangent. Again. Select this circle, control this circle, scroll down and click on this tangent. Then to remove the unwanted object, press T for trim and remove the unwanted objects. Escape. The next is here horizontal line is there. Take the line command, give the first point, give the second point. Click on this stick, then press T for trim, remove the unwanted object. Escape, zoom fit. Then next is this tangent line. Take the line command, create one line from here to here. Escape, then select this line, control this arc. Then scroll down and click on this tangent. Again select this line, control this arc. Again scroll down and select this tangent. And if you don't want this dimension like this, you can erase them. Select by pressing control and delete them. Then again press D for dimension and give the radius dimension. Enter. Here is 90. 8 enter and here is 40 enter escape and you can 
drag this dimension outside. That's all. Thanks for watching. We will stop here.